Hello, hello to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Listen, Sagittarius, you all are going to be the best ones to teach everybody else how to walk into their expansion. This coming Saturday kicks off the first quarter moon in your sign, Sagittarius. So, hey, let Virgo, during this time, let the sign Virgo teach you how to go through your universe meticulously pick out anything that you need to release allow virgo to do it because we're still very much in this new moon phase in virgo right and crossing over about to cross over into this first quarter moon in sagittarius so we're not talking about any virgos that you know in human form we're talking about the sign virgo which is very meticulous it's a meticulous earth sign it's a divine feminine sign so if you're having downloads about dreams thoughts about people that you need to release emotions that you need to release hurt feelings you need to release anything you need to release yep like i said nine of swords the eight of wands the five of wands the queen of pentacles page of cups and the world card a cycle is over a cycle is complete it's finished that's the world card somebody should be feeling pretty good about it but if there's anything that's left in your spirit where you you're telling everybody out of your mouth it's over virgo is going to pull it out if it's not so if you're thinking about, you know, something that's been keeping you up at night, that's where you want to stick it in a burning bowl. And if you don't have a burning bowl, you can just write down the name or the place. It could be a job that you left behind. It could be a romantic relationship you left behind, a friendship that you left behind that could be keeping you up at night where you're just constantly thinking about it. Burning bowl. Burning bowl. If you don't have a burning bowl, write down the name, the emotion attached to it. And just write yourself a note because you're really talking to God within you and just saying, you know what? I release these people, places, and things into the universe so that I can expand. I can make space for the things that I've been praying for, especially if every time you talk to them or even think about them, you get really upset and frustrated in your spirit because that energy is trying to bring you down to your lower self. It's not them. It's the energy that's trying to bring you down to your lower self and it's keeping you up at night. It's time to sever ties with it. And watch how quickly things start moving for you. Here we have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands and Eight of Wands. This right here could block this. This right here, people who are trying to start little like, quarrels with you. Or if you if you feel like my mind, you know, something didn't close. I feel like something didn't close out properly. And somebody else could be bringing it back up. It's because misery loves company. People are like, oh, have you heard from so-and-so yet? Have they? Well, what? I mean, well, what happened? Are you... And you're getting into an argument and you're frustrated about it. They are trying to bring you down to their personal hell. So don't get don't get caught up in somebody trying to bring up something that you know is already closed out. Let them know that conversation is off the table. Let's talk about something high vibrational. Right? That conversation is off the table because it's blocking somebody's vision and moving quickly. Right? Fast being fast tracked to something like your throne. You have a lot of connections. A lot of people are trying to get to you, connect with you financially. But if you're still letting somebody from your past or even currently in your circle right now that's still bringing up stuff where you feel like, I don't understand that. I don't understand how this thing was closed out. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I said. Release it. Release it, right? Because some new energy is trying to come your way. Some new energy is trying to come your way. Maybe a new collaboration with younger artists. Maybe it is um younger um youthful energy maybe it is like i said something new something refreshing coming across your path something that feels very youthful trying to come across your path because that's the energy you give off very youthful energy not bitter frustrated i haven't gotten any rest i'm tired i'm looking haggard none of that you're giving off very youthful energy and that's what wants to be attach itself to you so Whatever is closed out, let it let it close out. Let it close out. Let it close out. Let it in. Because like I say, sometimes you can have people within your same circle keep bringing things up that you feel like, okay, I, that thing is over. Why are you bringing it up? Because they're in their own personal hell and they want, they want to have a pity party with you. So, if hey, if I got to be miserable, I'm going to remind Sagittarius about something so they can be miserable too. No ma'am and no sir. We have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Sun card, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. Remember, 
This moon in Virgo is meticulously going through everything to see what you need to release. So somebody that's bringing up your past and trying to get you to remember some past that you have already severed ties with, they need to go too. Because their energy is very snake energy. They're miserable. They may come across as being very happy. But if they keep trying to invite you to their pity party and remind you of all the stuff that you're going through, they got to go. They got to go. I'm telling you. Virgo is picking out everything in everybody's spirit. It's not just yours. It's everybody's spirit to say, hey, you still haven't let this thing go yet. You're talking about expansion, but it's still something in your spirit that won't let this thing go. And source is giving you some time. Source is giving you some time. This wheel of fortune is connected to uh, Jupiter, which is your ruling planet. So somebody believes that they have more time and you do have more time. So this is about looking forward to your future. Really looking forward to your future, re removing these blindfolds. This is the Eight of Swords, right? The Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. Somebody may need to plan a trip and go somewhere, really. But somebody is still in bondage to something. So whatever you felt like I had already replaced, I had already parted ways with something, Virgo is going to bring it out because Virgo is a very meticulous sign. Again, we're not talking about a person. It's a very uh, meticulous sign. It's a perfectionist sign. So it wants your universe to be perfect so you can have heaven here on earth. And so if there's some people in your life that you you kind of, I'm not kind of on the fence about them, Virgo is going to push it for, uh, front and center so that you can see exactly who is who. So like I said, you got a whole world of people out there to meet. New love is trying to come across somebody's path. New opportunities to meet new soul tribes. New job opportunities are coming across somebody's path. So if if God allows this moon in Virgo to start exposing some people around you that you were already kind of on the fence about, you better let them head to the door out of your universe. But the sun is shining on you and it's shining on everything around you. So you'll be able to see things a lot clearer because sun, the sun, when somebody asks you what your sign is, you'll proudly say, oh, I'm a Sagittarius or I'm an Aries or I'm a Leo or I'm a this sign or that sign, right? You're talking about your sun sign. You're talking about your identity. You're saying the I am. I am a Sagittarius. Like, so that something goes along with you being a Sagittarius, right? So you're proud of that. You're proud of being a Sagittarius. And so it, it shines a light on people's identity and their creative life force. So you're going to see everybody around you who is trying to bait you into their own hell. You better make a move because Source is trying to make you financially independent. You don't need any negative Nancys or negative Neds on your bandwagon. You do not need it because you got a lot of good things trying to come your way, Sagittarius. So stay focused. That's why I talk about the moon phases to help you go from one moon phase to the next successfully. And God is using these uh, planets and these luminaries to help people get to their next phase successfully, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just, and just because we have Uranus, which is a retrograde right now, you may be feeling a little rebellious, like, mm, I'm not really sure if I want to do that. Or somebody else may call you rebellious because they know that they're on their way out the door. The devil card. Uh -huh. It represents fear. It represents doubt. It represents some type of illusion. That's what's trying to keep you clean. That's what's trying to keep you um, uh, connected to low vibration energy. That's the, that's what I'm picking up big time in your reading. It, it's somebody, it could be somebody in your circle that you need to let go because it looks like the cycle is already closed. So there's some people on the outside of that cycle, either you thinking about them and it's causing sleepless nights or somebody keeps bringing something back up. Maybe it was a past job. Maybe it was old colleagues and there's somebody's calling you from the old job saying, Hey, did you know so-and-so click? Mm -mm, I don't need that in my universe. I don't need that in my universe. So let's see what else we have here. Ace of Pentacles. If you want to do something, work, focus on working hard and building your uh, your harvest, your harvest of wealth. If you want to do something, what focus on you know your new soul tribe. You know, getting to meet new people, getting out to meet new people. You do not need to focus on negative energy in your circle. You don't. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Expect powerful changes. That's right. Expect powerful change because source is exposing everything. Source is shining a light on a lot of things around you. A lot of things around you. And you may be surprised. It may click when you watch this video. It's like, yep, you know what? 
I was starting to heal from a certain situation and here comes so-and-so negative Nancy or negative Ned bringing it back up again. That's right. That's it. I'm glad I watched the video for confirmation. I need to go ahead and part ways with them. And so you may not part ways right away, but you'll stop answering the text messages. You'll let the voice, you'll let it go to voicemail. You'll only respond via text, that kind of thing. Eventually they're going to realize, okay, hmm, I'm not really sure what's going on with Sagittarius, but they're not really talking to me. They're just responding to a text message or they may respond to my voicemail via text. Hey, I got your voice message. I'm real busy right now. I'll talk to you whenever I can. The end, right? Burning bowl, just like I told you earlier. Burning bowl. Burning bowl ceremony. It works. I keep trying to help somebody. I keep help, trying to help you. It does work. You don't have to get into an argument with the person. You just eventually just fade to black right out of their life. Just move on. You close it out because they're going to have to close it out however they close it out. People, I'm telling you, people are waking up to their higher self. They're getting sick and tired of negative energy. They're getting sick and tired of, you know, people who keep trying to drag them down into their own personal hell. People are tired. It, won't, it doesn't matter who they are. It can be family members, people from your job. It can be anybody. People are just sick, sick, sick and tired of just feeling bad. So what's the last message, Most High God? Yep. You'll be releasing it mm -hmm. and feeling a lot more stable, a lot happier, a lot more free. Somebody is releasing it so that they can have a new, and, and somebody is going to have a new exuberant love come across their path. So, again, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Move on from something. Get that burning bowl out. So, if Virgo brings it out of you, be grateful. Don't get upset. And like, oh, shoot. Why all of a sudden it gets you so off kilter that it, it comes out on other people? You don't need to get upset. You just be in receiving mode like you are. Let God expose stuff around you or within your current circle. And release it and move on. All right? That's what I have for you. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye.